everybody, welcome back to the Craft Beer Hub. I am in Malta. I'm just the other side of the water to Valletta. This is Jazeera? Xera. Xera, there we go. Um, I'm in a bottle shop called Pop. There you go. And I'm with Miguel, one of the co-owners of uh, Pop. Thank you for having me, mate. Um, first off, let's start with what's in the glasses. What have you got there? I got uh, Mela Mela, which is a pale ale from uh, Ale Brewer, Polish brewery. And they brew this just for Malta. It's got a Maltese character. It's a, it's a New, New Zealand uh, pale ale, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but it's uh, brewed exclusively for Malta. In fact, even on the label, there is uh, the Knights of St. John. And nice. The, Pro, uh, the Valletta and a few, a few other Excellent. Maltese things. I've just finished that. It's really quite nice, isn't it? Yes, 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 yes. Really quite nice. And uh, we were discussing this. Um, and I have got a Lord Chambray. Now, Lord Chambray, I should say at this point, is a brewery on the island of Gozo, which is attached to Malta. It's part of Malta. Um, probably the most well-known craft brewery in Malta. Yes. Come, uh, come, I mean, just do. looking over here, I don't know how you can't see on the camera. I'll, we'll go through these in a minute. You've got a whole shelf dedicated to Lord Chambray beers. Um, this is the Kolsch. It's really quite hazy for a Kolsch. Um, but it's... It's lovely clean, really crisp, bit of caramel from the malt, bit of biscuit from the malt. Subtle bitterness at the back, really quite nice. So enough about the beers, let's talk about your shop, Miguel. Mm -hmm. um, when did you start? When, how did this all come into? So it started the uh, beginning of 2020. Um, oh. the, the, the plan was already there before the, the pandemic yep. hit, but then let's say the pandemic accelerated uh, our, our pace. Uh, basically, the plan originally was to have an online shop yep. uh, selling craft beer. Uh, as soon as the pandemic came came through, uh, we accelerated the, the the works and made sure to get it out, uh, out, get the shop out because it was obviously a very good opportunity that everybody logged in. Yeah, uh, bars were closed, so it was a good time so to you... start supplying the island with uh, craft beer. Yes, yeah, so I was going to say. So you started. Was it a lot of delivery based stuff? You were mainly delivery based. How was the so back back then? It was totally totally. Uh, okay, to so you had totally a hard lockdown as well. Delivery based. Yes. Okay. Uh, it wasn't the hardest lockdown here in Malta, uh, but still, uh, most of the places were closed and people were at home bored. So was a good thing to provide them with some beer. Excellent. I've, I've just done a, I've done a video probably three months ago um, in my hometown, or my home city of Norwich, and it was a guy that started delivering beer. He'd get beer put in milk cartons, plastic milk cartons, and started delivering it on his bike. <laughs> now he owns um, a bottle shop for the, on the markets, uh -huh. and he has just bought an old English red telephone box in the middle of the city and he sells beer out of the telephone box. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Similar story, but this isn't the telephone box, this is much bigger. Um, so the beers in here then, there's a few breweries that stand out on yourselves. It's quite funny actually being a Brit in here. You've got a lot of kind of what are the supermarket beers. You've got sort of Stiggy Pop from Magic Rock. You've got a lot of the Magic Rock selection actually. You've got Buxton Brewery for Pure Siren. But you've got a lot of the two old stuff um, the Omnipolo stuffs. Yes, those are, I, I think, our two favourite breweries. So we tend to kind of stock up, uh, stock up on them. Um, both Oel and Omnipolo, I think, are amazing at what uh, at what they do, and so uh, we love having them on the shelves. Everything, every beer that they produce is, yeah. a, is amazing quality <laughs> most of the time. And you've got the whole. I mean, this is quite funny for yet again for me as a Brit in here. Normally, when I buy my Sierra Nevada beer, and I love Sierra Nevada beer. Um, I buy it from the Cascade Club, which is their British selling site. But in here, you've almost got the whole selection. You've got more on you've got more on your shelf here than Cascade currently has oh, wow. on their website, which is quite funny. Um, for fantastic prices, I mean, it's only if I take the Torpedo, the extra IPA. So we all know a lot of you will know that beer. That is two euros eighty on your shelf. Yeah. So that brings me to the point of drinking taxes in Malta. How does that work? So obviously, are they? Uh, Compared to the UK, I, uh, I believe the the importation taxes uh, um, with alcohol are quite low, um, especially on 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 beer. Uh, right. So so we don't have, sorry, sorry, we don't have so much of the expenses. Uh, in fact, we get a lot of the same comments from people coming from Europe and visiting our shop. Uh, it's one of the most common uh, comments that we get how much cheaper stuff is from uh, from here mm. so sometimes even like english beer would be like not not necessarily cheaper but 
around around the same uh, mark. No, 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 absolutely, absolutely. So if we turn our attention to obviously the Lord Chambray stuff over there and the Maltese craft beer, because there is a revolution going on here. You were saying yes, and it's pretty much at its uh, not not its start, but it's uh, it's, at, it's still at its infancy. Let, let's say it. Uh, so basically, Lord Chambray. They started the craft beer revolution. Only uh, early two uh, thousands. Was it two thousand five? Yes, it was eight, eight and a half years ago. Yeah, I'm oh, not sure. Wow, I'm that not sure. Wow. Two thousand fifteen, maybe. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it, it's very recent because yes, uh, last year they had their eighth, uh, eighth birthday. So that's so, not long. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and that was the first time that anyone ever heard of the word craft beer in Malta. A part of you, if you had travelled, yeah. uh, if you were a bit cultured, but locally. Uh, and we have uh, the main commercial uh, beer in Malta, which yep. is quite popular and everyone drinks it. I won't name it, to, not to make an advert for no. it. No, <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was going to mention no. it, but I won't. <laughs> I know. Um, uh, so yeah, so then the, this crazy Italian guy came, o- came over to Gozo. Oh, I mean, he was Italian? Yeah, oh, okay. yeah the, so the brewer, uh, the, the owner of the place is, is Italian. And, and he opened the brewery in our sister island, which is like even sleepier than than <laughs> than Malta Malta is, you know. So it's even crazier to to open over there. And there are some advantages, obviously, in terms of uh, rental space and so yes. on. Yes. Um, but basically, he he came along, opened this fully fledged, beautiful, uh, high high quality in terms of standards uh, craft brewery, and started doing his uh, his craft beer. And it was a slow, very slow start to to to, to that because of changing a mindset, obviously. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. People and and don't forget that the, the 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 local popular beer is very cheap at bars. You know, you, you go to the bar, you buy it for for two fifty from from a, from a bar. Mm-hmm. You, you know? I've seen cans on the shelf. I've, I've, I won't name this beer, um, <laughs> but I've seen cans on the shelf cheaper than a can of Coca Cola. Yes, yes, yeah. It's 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 water basically. Uh, even the t- even the taste. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here. It's water. <laughs> um, so, uh, so, how long did it take Lord Chambray to change that mindset on the island of Malta and get people getting away from the craft lager? Oh, sorry, getting away from the mass-produced lager into the craft beer. How long did it take? It took a, it took a while for sure, and I mean, it's the, the mission is still not complete in the sense that. Uh, if you go to the average Maltese bar, you still find yeah. people there, and that's every, everywhere. It's the same, obviously. Um, but over here, particularly, we had uh, we have a tradition in, in local bars. Uh, the, the the local uh, cheap beer is, is very light, uh, so like four four percent yeah. beer. It's a lager, and uh, being Malta, being an island, being a small place. Everybody knows everybody, you know. Yeah. So when you go to a bar, you're gonna find your friends, and everybody's getting rounds and rounds of, of <laughs> beer. So before I used to run a, a bar uh, back in the day, and uh, people order a round of I don't know eight beers, ten beers, you know, <laughs> and everyone is drinking like a session of uh, a dozen beers yeah. uh, over over a session. So that was one of the main things to change as a mindset, yes. where people go from quantity to to quality. Absolutely. And so I'm, I have to say, this is—I mean, I've got the Kolsch here. They don't do another. Do they do another lager? They don't. No, they, no, they, they don't. don't. Hello, welcome back. Sorry, GoPro had a fart again. We were just saying. I was just asking Miguel. Lord Chambray don't do a lager, do they? No, only this one. No, they don't do a lager. The, the, this, this is the closest one they have to a uh, to a lager. And uh, the the cash, um, most of it's because of uh, the expense in uh, in storage, ba- yeah. basically, in, in this in this heat, especially in, especially in summer. Um, uh, and last, la- however, last summer they had done a collaboration with Toel, the Dan- yeah. Danish brewery, and it was a Mexican lager yeah. with uh, with lime. And that was excellent, and it was very well received as well. Obviously, in summer, yes. it's, uh, it's like you're drinking uh, juice, yeah. So, on that subject, when when you walk around the island, and I go back, um, we've already talked about this story, so you're gonna act like it's the first time hearing it. We go. <laughs> <laughs> um, I went to a bagel shop just uh, in Salima, which is like the next sort of district on, and they had the big lager manufacturer in the fridge, two or three different choices, but I went for an Ainga. Um, because there wasn't like a high quality lager in the fridge. And it was an Ainger Erweiss, and it was absolutely lovely. Um, and on the subject of German beer, you've got a sign up there, you've got a couple of the bottles on your shelf. Weisstefana, which is one of my favorite Helles lagers, it's everywhere. Yes, you find it quite, uh, quite, quite commonly here. In fact, it's 
over here it's one of the it's the only kind of commercial beer that we that we stock uh, here uh, we do it to give an option of uh, like a cheaper yes. cheaper brew as well and just just so you know i'm going to check the price the Hellez is two euros thirty a bottle yeah <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's, uh, that's why we keep it there. It's, uh, it's, it's Bonkers. so easy. Uh, it's an easy drink, and even the the wheat beer, actually, the the vice beer. Yes, it's uh, it's very popular as well. And in fact, in Malta, you find even some of the commercial um, wheat beers like uh, Erdinger, Paul, yes. Paulana, and so on. They are very popular here in Malta because it's again, it's light and uh, light and easy drinking. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, Lord Chambray, if you're watching. Please make a lager. If you make uh, one of my favourite beers in the UK is a, uh, it's an Italian pilsner from a from a brewery called Duration, um, up sort of north Norfolk, not far from me. And it is although it's a pilsner which is a bit drier and a bit, it's not a difficult drink pilsner, but Hellas just goes down so easy. Mm -hmm. Pilsners are a bit more hard work. It's just hopped. It's hopped in such a way where it's so light and so refreshing. So, Lord Chambray, it's there for you, please. Mm -hmm. um, I can't remember where we were now, but um, people have got people are coming in the shop. Uh, we'll finish the video here. Oh, hello, Miguel. Well, <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate you having me, mate. Um, anything Thank more you. about pop? Um, uh, if you're ever in Malta on the island, come over and visit us. We're in Xira, and we also do quarterly events with craft beer, street food, and so on. Oh, so fancy. keep an eye out. Follow us on our social media pages on Facebook and Instagram mainly. Uh, it's at do the, do the pop and. Welcome and cheers. 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 Just so you know, guys, if you visit Valletta, there uh, to the north side, there's a, a marina. They're around the other side of there. I'll link their page in the description. Uh, yeah, there we go. Cheers, mate. Like, cheers. subscribe, guys, if you'd be so kind. I will see you on the next one. Cheers.